Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and I have some tips today on printing, particularly in the print quality and giving some suggestions on why it might not be Silhouette Studio or your printer. That is the difference in how a print and cut prints or just in general how it prints. So I recorded this when I was filming the five tips for print and cut, which I will link in the description below. It was kind of a sidebar that I, um, you know, ran after a squirrel while I was doing that video. So I wanted to include these tips for you and give you some thinking points and some things that you could test if you are experiencing issues with your print quality with your current printer and your materials. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I'm hoping to capture this if I can get it in both video and in photos, but it's not always a printer issue in how your products print. So what I did was I was testing with sticker paper for a completely different project, and I thought let's try the same sheet and let's do it with the same exact settings. So all of these, this is four different sheets of sticker paper, four different brands. They are all printed at the same quality. They're all printed on regular paper quality and regular uh, print settings. So I'm going to show you these. This is the very first one I printed and I printed it on this page. This one is a Koala matte sticker paper. I printed it on this page because I was just using it as an example. It's not going out to anybody. But what I noticed is that the colors are very, very muted. Especially when I compare it to other printouts. So this one is actually one I grabbed. It's not my favorite at all. It's called Betkey Sticker Paper. And I'll have links in the description of this video below. But this one isn't really one I would recommend. I use it just because it's there for testing and I can, I have it, so I might as well use it. But if I bring this in close, it, the colors are kind, are better than this page, better than the Koala. But if you get up close to it, the ink is weird. So I could maybe print it on higher quality print settings and it might be better but I'm not sure I wanna go through all of that. Now, the two that actually printed the best are, this one is the Staples sticker paper that I've used for years, and I really do like this brand. It printed well, but the one that really impressed me the most was the Silhouette sticker paper. The Silhouette sticker paper turned out the best out of all four of these sheets that I printed. And I really can't get them all in the photo completely, but the Silhouette sticker paper by far exceeded all of the others on the standard paper quality, standard print settings. So you could adjust your print settings, but the point of my video is that it's not always the Silhouette Studio software or the printer settings, the printer itself, in the way that it prints. The surface of your material makes a big difference. The same can be said when printing on cardstock. You will see that you'll have varying differences in cardstock because of how that ink soaks into the cardstock. Some are better than others, and you really just need to test for your materials and the materials you have access to. So there are a ton more sticker brands on the market. Um, I have a whole stack of different stickers, um, sticker papers that I have tested with the auto sheet feeder. But in reality, how many brands of sticker paper do you need? The Silhouette sticker paper may be a little bit more expensive. I would have to weigh those cost benefits and I can do that down below in my blog post, but it by far gave me the best print and cut the colors just on standard settings. So I just thought this was a neat look at what can happen and it's not always an issue 
with Silhouette Studio, which gets blamed a lot for print colors, or your printer. Sometimes, and a lot of times, it's the materials that you are actually printing on. So I would encourage anyone who has print color qualities to get some different brands that are available and readily available to you and do some tests. Make sure when you are testing that you are doing the same printout. You are keeping all of your controls the same. So same printout, same file, same settings. So I used paper settings here again and the standard print quality. So I hope those tips have helped. There are links in the description below for additional information on sticker paper that I have here, as well as the Silhouette Auto Sheet Feeder and print and cut as well. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.